Good morning. From wherever you're watching, I bid you a warm welcome to All Saints Church Grange Gorman here in Dublin. Today we have a celebration of the Eucharist for the Sunday before Lent, which is also Transfiguration Sunday. And today we use Rite 1 of the Book of Common Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Saviour Christ saith unto all that truly turn to him. Come unto me, all that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to the end, that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty Father, whose Son was revealed in majesty before he suffered death upon the cross, give us grace to perceive his glory, that we may be strengthened to suffer with him and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel is written in the ninth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Mark, beginning at the second verse. Jesus took with him Peter, James and John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. For he did not know what to say, because he was terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. And suddenly when they looked around, they saw no one with them, only Jesus. And as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered Peter, James and John to tell no one what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the transfiguration of our Lord and we will soon begin the Lenten journey. And these coming 40 days of Lent should for all of us be a period of engagement with God and with one another, a time of repentance and prayer, a time of contemplation and a time of renewal. Lent is the opportunity to move within the shadow of the cross and be surrounded by God's love. Lent is also the time to look towards the victory of Easter and the victory over death, which is ours in Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, Jesus goes up on a mountain to pray with Peter, James and John. And a strange thing happens. While he was praying, he was transfigured. The appearance of his countenance was changed and his clothes became dazzling white. And two men appeared with him, Moses and Elijah. Moses and Elijah represent the Law and the Prophets. But Jesus, he is the fulfilment 
of the law and the prophets. Just as Moses had led the Israelites out of Egypt to form a new nation, Jesus was to lead his followers into a new kingdom. And as Elijah had confronted the evil prophets, Jesus was to conquer sin on the cross. Moses and Elijah just disappeared and Jesus was left alone. The old order was ended. A new one has begun. And Peter is so overwhelmed by what he has seen that he wants to perpetuate this moment by building three altars or three dwellings. But Jesus tells him to be silent about this whole experience until after the resurrection. And apart from the cross, the full story cannot be told because there is still that one mountain to climb, the mountain of Calvary. And again, as at his baptism, Jesus receives the confirmation from God, this is my son, the beloved, listen to him. The surest way for all of us to find God in these uncertain and worrying times is by opening ourselves to his love and to listen for that still, small voice of calm. It is suggested that we should always approach God quietly because he speaks quietly. And very often we don't hear God's voice because we are too busy. We are too noisy. And we are busy getting more of what we have enough of. Yet, when we are silent and we look for God, he touches us in some mysterious way. During this current pandemic, many of us have seen friends and colleagues who have been sick and some who have died. We ask, where is God? We have prayed and God does not appear to have answered our prayers. When people are sick or worried, we pray and we wonder if God will answer our prayers. Well, I suggest that we learn to be silent, to contemplate and to listen for God's voice in our time of trouble. My prayer as we approach this Lent is that God will bless us all in our lives and with each other. And may each of us listen for his voice in the silence of our hearts. Amen. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that he may dwell in us and we in him.
Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we, receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Amen. body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for me, preserve my body and soul unto everlasting life. Amen. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for me, preserve my body and soul unto everlasting life. From wherever you are watching this morning, I invite you to join with me in the Christian family prayer as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, be present, we beseech thee, with those who are in sorrow, in suffering, in sickness, or in distress. In this group of parishes, we continue our prayers for Alan, Trina, Anne, Helen, Logan, Fia, Mary, Keith, and those whom we name silently in our hearts. Help them to know thy love in their lives, O oh Lord, and may they find peace and healing in thy presence. And we ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art present in every place, in heaven and on earth, hear our prayers for those who we love no longer with us in this life. For Mary Sexton, Joyce Green, Richard Collier, Dennis Coates, and all whose anniversaries occur at this time. 
may we with them and all thy saints share in the joys of thy eternal kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be mindful, O Lord, of thy people present here with thee in different ways. Care for the infants. Guide the young. Support the aged. Encourage the faint-hearted. Collect the scattered. And bring back the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, and heal the sick. Bless all those in trouble or distress, and remember for good all those that love us, and those that hate us, and those that have desired us unworthy as we are to pray for them and those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now may the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, establish strengthen and settle you in the faith and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always Amen